Hey, my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Motor. You probably heard that it's a not a good idea to always place all the information within a single visual in your Power BI report. But what are the options? What are the solutions? And how can we uh, satisfy different uh, end users' uh, requirements, but not placing all the information within a single visual? Stay tuned. In this video, I'll show you two available techniques for providing additional insight into the data without disrupting the main visual on the Power BI report page. The easiest way to enable drilling down to the end user is by using so-called drillable visuals. Matrix is the best example of the visual that has the built-in drill down functionality. Once you drag multiple attributes to the matrix rows, by clicking on the plus and minus sign, you can expand and collapse data points. This is the easiest and the most intuitive way for the end user to navigate through the different levels of hierarchy. Adding the new level of drilling down is as easy as dragging the additional attribute. In this example, I'll drag the individual dates to the matrix visual. As you may spot, the plus icon immediately becomes available, and I can now drill down to the specific date if necessary. Drilling down works out of the box for other visual types as well. Let me show you how this cluster column chart visual becomes drillable by simply adding more attributes to the x-axis. As soon as I drag the color to the x-axis, please observe the new floating menu in the top right corner of the visual. By clicking on the single down arrow, we can turn on drill down. Since we are currently at the lowest level of detail, I can't click on the double down arrow or add the fork arrow icon. I can also reorder the attributes if necessary, so that the color becomes the top level attribute. Now, while on the top level of the hierarchy, once I turn on drill down, clicking on the double down arrow will expand the visual to the next level in the hierarchy. Clicking on the fork icon will expand all the data points to the next hierarchy level. Let's drag the product name in the visual. So we now have three levels of the hierarchy. Double down arrow drills down to the next level of the hierarchy, whereas the fork preserves the current hierarchy level and simply adds the next level to it. Great, now let me show you how to enable drill through the data. This is of paramount importance when enabling end users to explore detailed data without disrupting and overloading the main visual. Let's say that we want to enable our users that when they click on the specific data point in the matrix visual, say sales amount in July 2018, they are able to see the detailed breakdown of this number 59 million and something. To achieve that, we will leverage the deal through feature in Power BI. Let's start by creating a new report page. This page will contain all the necessary details we want to show. So I'll create a table visual and then drag the year, month, color, sales amount, and even the order quantity. Let's make this table visual a little bit nicer. Okay, now comes the crucial part. In the visualizations pane, please pay attention to the drill through area. Here, we can add filters we want to be propagated from the main page. Remember, we had a year in the main matrix visual. So I'll drag the calendar year into the filters field here. Now, please observe the back button that was automatically added to the report page. This is because now Power BI knows that we want to use this page as a drill through page. And this back button will allow users to quickly navigate back to the main page when they are done with their detailed analysis. Now, going back to our main matrix visual. When I right click on the January 2018, one of the options in the dialog window is drill through. All the pages cross-filtered by the calendar year will be displayed in the drop-down menu, but we currently have only one. Hence, I'll choose that one. Bam! As you see, only January 2018 is displayed in the detailed overview. And look at the drill through filters. This is exactly the selection we made on the main page. If I go back and now select September 2018, the drill through page shows the data for that month and year only. We can also combine multiple filters on the drill through page. Let's drag the product color column so that users can navigate to the details from a different visuals on the main page. The cluster column chart 
that shows the total sales amount per product color. If I right click on the data bar for the black color and then drill through, now the black color filters the page and all the years and months are included. Let's try with red. Works like a charm. This is amazing, but let me now show you how to push this to a whole new level and further enhance the user experience. Let's be honest, a lot of users are not aware of this technique of right-clicking on the data point in the visual and then navigating to a drill through page. What if we could somehow point them in a more intuitive way? I have great news for you. Buttons to the rescue again. I'll click on the insert tab on the top and then choose buttons. I'll insert a blank button on the canvas. Let's apply some basic formatting and configuration. I'll enter the text, click to see details. I'll also adjust the color to this nice dark blue. Next, let's define the action property of the button. What happens if someone clicks on the button? I'll choose drill through as the action type. As soon as I did that, the button appearance changed. It's not blue anymore. Looks like it's grayed out and disabled. And this is absolutely true. But just be patient, in a few moments we will make it live again. Let's first set the destination to our drill through page. And then, if you wish, you can leverage the tooltip to give a hint to our users about what they are expected to do to be able to see the detailed page. When I hover over the button, a tooltip provides a brief instruction of the expected action. So let's click on July 2018. Oh, look at the button, it's alive! Let's click on it, and I'm now able to see the detailed overview of the July 2018 data. I'll go back to the main page and select the black color in another visual. Button is active again. I'll click on it, and yes, I see all the details for the black color product sales. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If that was the case, please click this like button down below. Also, if you want to stay tuned and up to date with all the latest features seen in Power BI and Microsoft Fabric, make sure to subscribe to Data Motor channel. See you soon!